Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 107 of my Direwolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. Look, look, right there. Can you see it? Can you see it? How about now? Can you tell? Does it look different? Did you notice? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I am playing on my server. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if everything looks different, that's why. Because I moved. <laughs> but that's a video. It's the same world, just on a server now. So it was successful. Yay. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> What we have here is the completed setup. Well, it's almost completed. Uh, thinking about taking this little guy off here, because I got him pulling in the pellets that he makes, which for some reason he's not making right now. Well, it's got uh, plenty of everything. I don't know. Do I need to get the ethylene out? Not enough room in output. Um, I guess it's this ethylene. So the ethylene has backed up. Yikes. So is there, there's like no way to dump this. Um, so what I'm going to do... Are these all like connected? This one's connected over there. But I think this one is all by itself. Might change that. Oh, only this is an item trash. Hmm. So if I were to change this to an ultimate trash can it, it would work because I could put the poisonous potato in here and uh, put the excess ethylene in there conundrum okay so we'll need some cards um, yeah let's go ahead and pop you on there too Um, oh yeah, the trash. I think, yeah, I got an ultimate trash can. Um, but it's sad because I'm going to have to lose my Patatsky. I don't know, maybe I can do the dragon over. Come on. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, yeah, there we got the liquid filter. So we want a whitelist. And I don't have a, oh yeah, I was wanting to see. Can I drag poisonous potato? You can, oh, that's so good. Okay, and the liquid filter, we want ethylene. ethylene. Okay, and I guess I would have to put a a liquid card in here. 
you would card insert what did I do I believe I got another filter hopefully this works insert uh, go here we go oh you won't you won't grab over what if I do this there we go that works is it is him going now um except this one is only doing putting the water in Um, maybe I want to put this on a different channel, too. So, how about purple? There we go. So, got another card over here. So, we'll extract on purple. So that will be all. I think I have to just... And then we have to tell it where where are we going to get this ethyl bean from it's a uh, gas i guess so it's going to output on the right which is the west so we change this to west it should start kicking out no. I put a node overclocker in here because um, I wasn't sure if it could put the water in and do the other stuff. So, why are you not going, bro? Uh, do do I need to tell it to skip it a filter? I guess. Tell it to take out the ethylene. Take out ethylene. Yeah. Um, gases subject on. I'll put blue. Oh, is it gonna? It can't. It has to be a gas. Oh, it's a gas. So transferring a fluid isn't going to work with this. Snickerdoodles. Okay, well, <laughs> now I know. Okay. I get it. I get it. So doing this. Uh, it's good. So let's just get a little tank. Well, hey, we got one. I'm still... Sometimes that bug, I just forget about it. Um, okay, so let's send... The, no, the gas out the front. Okay, there we go. Now we can tell this to dump excess. So that should uh, keep it from backing up again. This one's fine. This one's not. All right, so we're getting our health again. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to point you off of there. Yeah. And we just need like an enrichment chamber put on the end there. Um, I did finish off this chain uh, by adding these two machines. That's all that was left <laughs> was, um, why don't I have my uh, Wayla up there? Anyway, it's a rotary concentrator turning the ethylene into liquid ethylene. 
then pushing that over into the pressurized reaction chamber and some oxygen that we're getting from uh, the electrolytic separator. So we're using both the oxygen and the hydrogen. Hydrogen over here, oxygen over here. And then the node pulls in the substrate and turns it into pellets. Uh, so good deal. So now we need to to put this guy. Oh, it's so funny that he doesn't even have power. I just made him. Uh, so apparently the items, let's just clear it. We do want input over here and I think maybe output out the top. Uh, so we can just put our do that over here. See, look, we're already getting the HDPE sheets. We can just put our import bus right there. Put our acceleration cars back in. It's taking in the HDPE sheets. Nice. Um, I figure we have HDPE pellets in there already. If um, we need any of the, I think there's only two things you can make with the HDPE and that's the sheets and the pellets so I have 800 of those in there let's get the HDPE sheets let's get them home before we start making a lot of them there so if we need any of the HDPE rods which I didn't see a big use for we still have a few that we can we can make, and the rest of them can be converted into sheets. Uh, so yeah, um, so we just need to give him a little bit of power over here, and then he should start working. Um, I guess we can. I will upgrade him in between episodes, so we can move on. Now that we got our HTPE sheets. We can do a lot of things now, <laughs> uh, but we also need other things like uh, polonium and plutonium. And in order to get those, you need like a nuclear reactor. Well, in order to make, to run a nuclear reactor, we're going to need fissile fuel. And this is like a long old chain, uh, just like this setup sort of only worse <laughs> with with more um just steps to have to put together uh, but this is what i'm going to be working on uh, it's got like several chemical oxidizer steps several like at least three chemical infuser steps a uh, chemical dissolution chamber and isotope topic centrifuge just to make this fissile fuel but you make it out of uranium sulfur dust and fluorite so it's a it's a lot of steps and you have to have oxygen and just do tons of and water vapor <laughs> so so it is a lot a lot of steps uh, but i i want to get it going uh, because we <laughs> we need to get it like to where it's running in the background getting us uh, stuff while we're off doing you know various adventures and stuff so there are several ways we could tackle this problem with the fissile fuel I guess you can either start at the end and work your way back or start at the back and work our way forward it usually makes a little bit more sense to me to work backwards say hey i need fissile fuel how do i get this well in order to get fissile fuel i need uranium hexafluoride and uranium oxide uh so yeah, uh, you need an isotopic centrifuge to put uranium hexafluoride in. So, I think 
think that's what I want to do. Um, yes. So let's see. I so don't have this on. So it shouldn't take too long to get it going, though. There we go. We got our in the machine isotopic centrifuge. Dun dun dun. Um, so this guy's gonna go on the end. Well, I say that he's gonna go on the end, but if I remember right, um, when I built this before, it was sort of like in the middle. It had a line coming off like this and then branching off. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll kind of put it here and see how it goes. So we've got our isotopic centrifuge and we need uranium hexafluoride, which you get from a chemical infuser with uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid. So let's get a chemical infuser. Now, can you make, okay, this one can't be upgraded. So let's look at the chemical infuser. Chemical infuser. Oh boy, uh, chemical infuser, basic chemical tank. Now, did it need two? Yeah, okay. I didn't know if they were both chemical. Sometimes there's one with, all right. Now, uh, let's place him like this because they'll probably need to I think that one's energy but we can probably change it so oh it's still green Okay, so I, I don't know if this needs to be facing that way. Maybe. Like that? Or is that how you get it out? I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. We need to move it. Okay, so uh, we need to get uranium hexafluoride to send to there. So we need hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide. So let's work on uranium oxide. Whoa, that's just a chemical oxidizer with some yellow cake uranium oxidizer. Just get that cracked in. Um, so we need a chemical tank. And does it have to be a small chest? There, okay. So, I guess we'll put you over here. Whoa. No, oh. <laughs> that's not helping. So, maybe we'll. There we go. So is that, 
Is that facing like this? Yes. Okay. Um, gases output on the right. I think I want to output on the left. And that should do it, right? Um, except for the items, uh, we just really need input, input from the top. Um, now we need the yellow cake uranium. Mm hmm I see. An enrichment chamber with uranium ingots. No problem. Enrichment chamber. I wonder, can I just make the ultimate one? Oh, you have to do it that way, okay. All right. And I will definitely go through and give all of these their upgrades and stuff. So now what we want is a way to pull uranium into here. So we need an exporter. An exporter. And we'll just start this going. Okay, so we need to send uranium to here. I'm going to kind of take this up. Where did he break off? I should have put it over there or something a little bit closer, but It's fine, it's fine. I got plenty of materials for <laughs> stuff. I still have like my whole base to rebuild. Um, okay, let's get some more. There we go. That's hopefully enough. Let's just get it, get it coming in. All right. Are you coming in? Yes. He's getting the uranium. That is good, but it's not going anywhere because we don't have so let's get him going. Um, let's do it like we probably want a lot for this system. And a point. Oh, do I have points on this? Oh, I do. I can have points. You just put him here. That should start up. Um, is it already? Okay. There it goes. It's not very fast because I don't have any upgrades, but we are getting yellow cake uranium. 
Uh, so we want to tell it to output the blue to the left side. Um, is that going? Oh, and we want to tell you to input from the right. Right. No, uh, to inputs. Oh, did I? I didn't. There we go. I figured it out. So now we're getting uranium oxide. Now this uranium oxide has to go to the left as well. So it should be outputting the blue to the left. Uh, but this should, we should have to tell it to, which one do we want? Hmm, do we want it to go to the orange? The red, does it matter? Uh, the uranium oxide is in the orange. I don't know if that matters, but that's how I'm going to do it. The uranium oxide is the orange. So, uh, gases. orange input. We need that to be in the back. Right. Uh, here's the back. Orange input. There. No, it went. It went to the red side. Why? Um, Oh, this is cool. In the last episode, I was trying to figure out how to get some gases out of the rotary condenser. Was it the rotary concentrator or the pressurized? I think it was the pressurized reaction chamber because I had some oxygen in here and I couldn't figure out how to get it out. But there is a cage dropper from mechanism. I don't know if there's like another proper another type of uh one of these i think maybe industrial foregoing i think may maybe they had something a long time ago like i don't know you could use the straw they it doesn't look like they have it anymore, but the gauge dropper can pull the stuff out. So maybe if I took this over here, there we go. Oh, how come I can't? There we go. Right click to get it out. So now we got it in the right one. Yay. A gauge dropper. Um, let's go ahead and get you back out of the way yeah awesome <laughs> so now we've got this we need to handle our uranium hexafluoride I guess wait a minute need uranium okay this is the step we're at. We need hydrofluoric acid now to come in on this side. So what do we need to get the hydrofluoric acid? We need a chemical dissolution chamber. And this is where the fluoride comes in. So G chemical solution chamber oh boy 
There's lots of stuff. Oh, what? I'm missing stuff? Obsidian dust. Oh, man. Um, okay. Let's go over there and have a look at this. Um, I've been over here in a while. Why is it not... How do you make the... Dissolution chamber. Is it the refined obsidian? The refined obsidian dust? It's needing. It needs this uh, obsidian dust, which is made in the enrichment chamber. Let's see that. Okay. Uh -oh. Why couldn't it have done that? I don't understand. Um, I think it's using it. I don't. Okay, let's make one quickly before it uses everything up again. Aha! <laughs> there we go. Okay. I don't know why that wouldn't just make it. It had everything set up for it. Okay. Chemical dis... Oh, well, that's why it's charging up in my inventory. Okay, so... Did I face these? Let's yeah, let's face it this way is the front. Ooh, look at that. It's beautiful. Alright, let's just clear out what the infused types are gases items. Let's just uh clear everything out. I don't think we need uh, items to export so uh, so we'll probably do items uh, yeah let's go ahead and do that one. input from the top because um, we're gonna have to have the fluoride here so let's get a export bus Yes. There we go. All right. Um, all right. Can you multiply this somehow? You only get one dust. Per fluorides. Okay, but what do you use the dust for to make a fluoride? Or, oh, you have to have the fluoride dust to make polonium and plutonium. Okay, but right now we can just leave it as fluoride, I guess. So just Plop some fluoride in here. And we'll need some more cables. Oof. And he should start filling up. Yeah. I'll get some speed upgrades in there. So now we need, uh, we have our fluorides. 
Now we need sulfuric acid. <laughs> I know what you're saying. It's another step. Uh, so now we need the chemical infuser. All right, this is an easy one. We got to get water vapor, but we need the chemical infuser. Let's get him. There we go. Two chemical tanks. Chemical infuser. All right, so we need that's the fluoride. We need the sulfuric acid. So on one side, we're going to need sulfur trioxide. On the other, we're going to need water vapor. So let's do the easy one and just get the water vapor taken care of. And that we need a rotary condensator. And we just use like water to turn into water vapor. So that will be cool. Rotary condensator. Oh, yeah, I got to be in the other system that has all the, all the auto craft stuff in there. This is the one that takes the two different ones. Because turning it from a liquid to a gas. So, yeah, this will be fine right here. Oh, we need the sink. Yeah, sink. I think we got clay over there. So I should be able to get a sink. I thought I could tell it to make fucking. Yeah, there we go. I was in the wrong one. Um. Let's just put him here and on. Let's just clear everything out. Gases. Uh, we're not going to get any items. We're just getting fluids. So fluids on the right hand side we want to input. And... Yes, um, I think I need to burst this. Is that oh, is it the red? <laughs> it's not bringing it in like oh that was a thermal series machine that automatically took the water in um i may need to scooch this guy out um yeah, might as well use the laser I.O., right? We can do insert, but we don't need this. And we can just put it on that. So insert, menu, still be extract. But, um, yeah, that should do it. No. Nope. Ooh, 
inputs. Input dark red on the right. Actually, we want it deconcentrating. Why you no work? Um, do I need, okay, let's try something else. Uh, ultimate mechanical pie. And configurator. Um, oh, are you on the right mode? Rotate. Configurate. Ooh, it's... Aha! Okay. <laughs> Got it going now. Now it's making us some water vapor. So we need to send that water vapor over here. It's hydrofluoric acid, sulfuric acid. We want it on the orange. So tell the okay, so gases we want to come in the orange two. And we want you to output your water vapor gases on the left. Oh, um. Is it this one? Oh, this one? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's my problem, is it's not the left, it's the front. Aha, I went into the wrong one again. I don't know if that matters, but definitely going to scooch it over. Sweet. So we got, I don't know why. Okay, so we need to, to get some more power for these guys too. Oh, I need one more. Oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah. I kind of ran out of time. Oh, we need this one too. There we go. Now they're taking in, making the water vapors, putting it over here, going up. Sweet. Uh, so now we need our sulfuric acid, which is made by getting the sulfur trioxide, which is another chemical infusion step. <laughs> so we need another chemical infuser. Okay, so we got this one turned this way. I'm going to keep it going the same way. Uh, <laughs> where was I at? Sulfuric acid. We need the sulfur trioxide. Uh, which is, oh, we need oxygen. 
So let's do this. We're going to need another rotary condensator to turn. Oh, actually, no. We need an electrolytic separator to separate the hydrogen and oxygen from water. Right. Yes. Electrolytic separator. Oh boy. These are uh, elect electro electrolytic. Oh, dude, I can't wait to get. I like to see this little stat electrostatic compressor. It makes me think of the super critical phase shifter. <laughs> that that's so fun to to get going. Okay, let's see if this will work. Oh, what's it? There we go. All right, um, I guess we can turn this one this way. We'll get another pipe over here. For some reason, I couldn't get the laser eye over to work. Okay, that's just taking it right in. Getting this oxygen, getting this hydrogen. Okay, so we needed the oxygen. Okay, so oxygen is on the red side. <laughs> um, and this is the front. So we need to bring in the oxygen from the front. So right? Yes, and it went right into the right one. Awesome. So we got oxygen. Check. So we need to set this guy to, I guess. Wait a minute. Oh, it sent the hydrogen over. Are you doing this to me? Gases. Ah. Can turn that off. Okay, so what do we got? We want the light blue, the cyan, to go out the left side. There we go. Now I guess I can take my dropper. There we go. And put him back. Over there. Oh, it's still got. Um, I think you can get rid of that by. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was one of those. Shift left or right click clears that out. Oh, we're almost done. I know it's been a long time, but we're we're coming into the home stretch now. <laughs> so. Um, the cyan one we want, but this one we want to dump the excess on. So hopefully it stays like that. We need to get them some more power. So they can start going, filling this up. Huzzah! Um, okay, that's going to make sulfur dioxide or trioxide but to get that we need the sulfur dioxide which is made in a chemical oxidizer with sulfur dust um yeah e You and you. Mm. Ah. 
personal chest. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, so paste it this way. Uh oh. Is that going to make it connected? The chemical oxidizer, in order to make sulfur dioxide, needs sulfur dust. Uh, so we need another export bus. We're almost done. Almost. Do this. <laughs> just a little bit further <laughs> it's a sprint okay so sulfur dust sulfur dust uh, immersive engineering or mechanism let's use the mechanism one. or it could be this thermal series since we are getting sulfur I don't know what's the difference make that out of gunpowder uh, or which one am i going to get out of processing sulfur like if i put it in a press a pulverizer will get me one dust uh-huh Um, so it looks like a pulverizer get one dust. And it looks like it's the thermal series. Whoa, I'm getting some really wicked lag. Uh, so I got an idea. I want, it won't go through a crusher, so it has to be a pulverizer. Okay, whoa. Look at the ground for a second. Awesome. We got to get this done though. <laughs> so I think what I can do is I can tell it to pull in the sulfur dust, this one, and get a craft. Do I not have that set up? I thought I did. Okay. Here we go. Crafting card. Oop. Uh, now later I will put in acceleration cards. But and I need to go. Add a pulverizer. Let's get him hooked up. Uh, so I need to get a pulverizer up here added. Um, yeah, let's just put. How about this? That is basically the setup. I am like way over on time for this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set up the pulverizer to actually make our sulfur dust. Um, and, and then it'll be complete. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.